Now let's talk about receiving items in that we've ordered with a purchase order. To demonstrate this, let's come under the Tasks pull down menu and let's come down to the second choice here within the Accounts Payable Expenses section, Purchases slash Receive Inventory. Let's open this window and let's pull up a vendor that we have some outstanding purchase orders to, Arbor Wholesale Supplies. When we pull them up, we can see that we're on the tab for Apply to Purchase Order Number. We can click on this down arrow here and see that we have two purchase orders outstanding, 10-202 and 10-300. Let's back up for a moment. Up here is invoice number. We have received these inventory items that we previously ordered with these purchase orders. That means we now have an invoice number from Arbor Wholesale Suppliers. If the items came in on a shipment with only a bill of lading and no invoice, then we would check this box here. Now, let's back up and look at these purchase orders. Let's come here to Reports and let's go to Accounts Payable and let's look at a purchase order journal just for this vendor. And let's change our period to all. So now we can see here are our purchase order number 10.0202 and 10.0300. 10.0203 did not show up in the list because it's closed out. Only items, purchase orders, numbers that are not closed out will appear in the list. Let's go back and look at that here. These are all purchase orders that have not been closed out. Let's go back to this window and let's look at each purchase order. 10-202. Let's drill down on it by double clicking with our mouse and we can see what was originally ordered. Let's look at the other one. 10-0-300. Ah <clears throat> uh, yes, we can see that we have received some partial shipments here. We have received these previously. So let's compare this line here. We initially ordered 12 of these and so far we have received 6. This is the vegetable garden primer. Let's go back into that screen. 10300. If we look at the vegetable garden primer, it shows that there's six remaining versus the 12 that we initially ordered. Peachtree keeps track of what's come in so far. Now, let's say that we received everything that's on this purchase order. We can come here to ship all and it fills in all the remaining items for us or we could have manually come down here and entered these amounts one by one. Over here we can change dollar amounts. Oftentimes what comes in on the order is different in dollar amount versus what was initially ordered on the purchase order. So if we need to edit any of these numbers, we can come in here and do that now. Let's assign an invoice number here. And let's click on Save. Now we have received everything related to that purchase order, 10300. If we pull up Arbor Wholesale Suppliers again, we'll see now we only have one purchase order that shows up in the list because 10300 is now closed out.